Dear friends, my name is Frankie MacDonald and I'd like to thank you for joining us today from all of the Oblet family. Wherever you are, whether you're in homes or hospitals or housebound in some way, or able-bodied like me, it's good that we're here in this day to praise God together and remember God's faithfulness and love for each and every single one of us. We in the Oblet family and community are grateful that you've joined us today for this short time of prayer so that we can share God's word together and support one another as a community of faith and hope. I hope too that you all had a lovely Christmas as you welcomed Christ back into your homes and lives during the Christmas celebrations and that his message of love reigns in our hearts throughout this new year. We pray especially for healing and peace that's needed in so many parts of the world at this time and we can see this from our TV screens each and every single day. And we need that healing, especially even in our own hearts and homes. I'd like to begin our time together just with a short prayer. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of love. Your Son, Jesus, is your greatest gift to us. He is a sign of your love. Help us walk in that love during this new year and always. We pray this in the name of Jesus, our Saviour. Amen. I'd like now to share a reading with you from today's Gospel. And I'll read it twice with a short pause in between so as to help God's Word find a home in our hearts. A reading from the Gospel according to St Mark. When Jesus returned to Capernaum after some days, it became known that he was at home. Many people gathered together so that there was no longer any room for them, not even around the door. And as he preached the word to them, four men came carrying a paralytic on a litter. They couldn't get near Jesus because of the crowds. So they opened up the roof above him, and when they had broken through, they let the mat in which the paralytic was lying on down to Jesus. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, your sins are forgiven. Now at that time, some scribes were sitting and asking themselves, why does this man speak that way? He is blaspheming. Who but God alone can forgive sins? And Jesus immediately knew in his mind what they were thinking to themselves. So he said, Why are you thinking such things in your heart? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Pick up your mat and walk. But so that you might know that the Son of Man has the authority to forgive sins on earth. He said to the paralytic, I say to you now, pick up your mat and go home. And the paralytic rose, picked up his mat at once, and he went away in the sight of everyone. And they were all astounded and glorified God, saying, We've never seen anything like this. When Jesus returned to Capernaum after some days, it became known that he was at home. Many people gathered together so that there was no longer any room for them, not even around the door. And as he preached the word to them, four men came carrying a paralytic on a litter. They couldn't get near Jesus because of the crowds. So they opened up the roof above him and when they had broken through, they let the mat in which the paralytic was lying on down to Jesus. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven. Now at that time, some scribes were sitting and asking themselves, Why does this man speak that way? He is blaspheming. Who but God alone can forgive sins? 
And Jesus immediately knew in his mind what they were thinking to themselves. So he said, Why are you thinking such things in your heart? Which is easier to say to the paralytic? Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Pick up your mat and walk. But so that you might know that the Son of Man has the authority to forgive sins on earth, he said to the paralytic, I say to you now, pick up your mat and go home. And the paralytic rose, picked up his mat at once, and he went away in the sight of everyone. And they were all astounded and glorified God, saying, We've never seen anything like this. This is the Gospel of the Lord. You know, when I read this Gospel, you can understand the man in St. In St. Mark's Gospel. The man reminds me of how persistence, effort and belief is noted by Jesus. It heartens me that he actually looked after the man's spiritual needs first, as well as his physical needs. Not only that, but he challenges the sceptics and the hypocrites to look beyond the end of their noses to see the good which is right in front of them. I wish we could all see the good in front of us, as all too often we get distracted and caught up in the things that we think are important and follow a very formulaic way of looking at life and forgetting to hold firm and have faith in God. This year, I wish for all of us that we see the good in front of us, in our family, our friends, our neighbours, and anyone that we meet, and be encouraged to hold firm in our faith and persevere in every challenge that we face. As we bring our time of prayer to a close, let's pray Pope Francis's prayer for peace. Lord God of peace, Hear our prayer. God of Abraham, God of the prophets, God of love, you created us and you call us to live as brothers and sisters. Give us the strength daily to be instruments of peace. Enable us to see everyone who crosses our path as our brother or our sister. Keep alive within us the flame of hope, so that with patience and perseverance we may opt for dialogue and reconciliation. In this way, may peace triumph at last and may the words division, hatred and war be banished from our hearts and from the heart of every man and woman. Lord, diffuse the violence of our tongues and our hands. Renew our hearts and minds so that the word which always brings us together, will be brother. And our way of life will always be that of shalom, peace, salam. I'd like to thank you again for joining us and let's say our final prayer together. Let's pray. God of our past, reconcile our brokenness. God of our future, renew our faith. God of the present moment, reach out and touch us and through us the lives of everyone we meet in our daily journey. May we be made whole through the holiness of God the Father, the humanity of Christ the Son and the healing power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you once again for joining us.